this video you will learn how to add acrylic to a retainer with an expansion screw. After you have bent all your wires, you want to make sure your wires are sticky waxed in place. Since this is a Hollywood and expansion screw, you have to make sure you have the proper expansion screw, monomer, and polymer, both for cold cure acrylic. We want to make sure we draw a line for the border of our acrylic so we know where to finish and have less to trim down the road. One of the most important steps is to add tin foil substitute. That has to be added all over the occlusal surface, the palette, and incisal edges. This will prevent the acrylic from sticking to the model. After you have applied the tinfoil substitute, you just want to blow it off with a little bit of air to make sure no clumps are underneath your wires. Now we want to add acrylic. Our first step will be to position the expansion screw. The arrow must face posteriorly to the back of the mount. So we're gonna add a little bit of acrylic where the expansion screw will go to make up a little putty in a mound. Once you have a decent amount of acrylic, we want to press our expansion screw in and position it to make sure it's straight and flat. Once the expansion screw is in place, we are now going to start adding acrylic around the rest of our retainer. Always looking back to make sure the expansion screw has not moved because it will slump sometimes. We always add monomer first and then polymer. Monomer is the liquid, polymer is the powder. You want to make sure that the acrylic flows underneath the wires. The lateral walls are the most difficult area to build up because the acrylic will slump towards the palette. So you have to use gravity to your advantage and always tilt the model to the side you're adding acrylic.
After you added all the acrylic, you want to now use a number 31 waxing spatula to remove some of the excess acrylic. If you are working quick enough, the acrylic will be still in a liquidy state where you can remove it. If you see that it is pulling, do not remove it. You'll just have more to trim. The ideal thickness for the acrylic should be about two and a half millimeters to three millimeters when we are complete. So you have to leave just a little bit extra so that you can trim to the desired thickness. Just remember the neater you work in the acrylic, the less work you would have to do when trimming. The longer you take to put the acrylic in the pressure pot will give you a greater chance of having porosity in your acrylic. After we have added the acrylic, we want to now place it in a pressure pot. A heated pressure pot will give you the best curing for a retainer. We want to make sure we place in the pressure pot about 25 pounds of pressure for 20 minutes. It doesn't need 20 minutes, but it will not hurt to make sure it has cured fully. When the time is up, release the pressure and remove the retainer from the pressure pot. Once you remove the retainer from the pressure pot, you wanna use a Murphy knife or an instrument and tap it and to hear a clicking sound. That's how you know your acrylic was cured. Begin to remove all sticky wax from the retainer's wires so we can remove it from the model. When removing the acrylic plate off of the model, use a Murphy knife from the posterior section. If you use tinfoil substitute, your acrylic should come off relatively easy. You want to make sure that all the wires are embedded in the acrylic and not exposed underneath. To remove the rubber seal from the expansion screw, we're going to use our wire cutter or you can use a plier and we are going to gently peel it off. If you did it properly, you should be able to see the expansion screw underneath. 